Okay, so I found a spade that fits. It's a 7 8 It fits um, pretty much dead on. And that's what we're after here. We want something that's a tight fit, but isn't... Uh, you don't want the hole to be small enough that it's got to actually squish that metal down or you'll never get the thing in. Um, but if it's too loose, then it'll come right out. And that's all I use. Once I put this on, I'll hammer it on with a, a mini sledge or something I got sitting around and it'll it'll mushroom out the bottom a little bit and it'll never come back out easy. And like I said, then we just put drill little holes and put some spikes through here, there, and then up there somewheres. Um, put four spikes in that holds you right in the ground and I haven't had a problem yet with another tree that's a little smaller than this so we're going to try it on this one if it doesn't work well we'll get out some ropes and by golly we'll tie the thing down um, so I, I crudely found center again this is not a project that's um, exact by any means but I found center with my speed square I lined it up with this corner and this corner apparently and uh, I etched a line my pen tip, the dang ink thing, the end of it fell out, so I used a nail. And I etched a line there, and the same thing on this corner. Etched a line there. Um, and then, of course, that's that's kind of center-ish. Of course, it's right in the middle of a knot, uh, but, you know, you get what you get some days, and today we got knots. And I'm just going to drill this, uh, hold it off to the edge of my, my workbench a little. Uh, just drill this again in 7 8 spade. And uh, we'll see what happens. Before I do punch right through my workbench and everything else, we'll just throw a scrap piece of 2 by 4 under it, just to be sure. By the way, my drill battery is about to die, so we're playing the hope, hope it doesn't game right now. That was easy. I don't know that I'm even going to work. I'm, I think I'll probably nail these on, nail these together. I know I said I'd screw them or I'd glue them, but... I happen to have a bet, a bit that fits a set of nails that I had handy and all kind of came together nice. So we'll just put a few through it. And like I said, this is some kind of hardwood. It may be oak or it may be, I think it's oak. Um, I don't know my species very well, <laughs> admittedly. Um, nor, oh, well, that's a that's a waste of time doing that. So with those in, I guess since it's going to play that way, I'm just going to take my hammer and I'll just bend these over flat, um, one at a time, probably. And then we'll just kind of let it pinch and hold itself together. I said, this is a Christmas tree holder, you know, we're not building a house here, or furniture. And yes, I'd like it to be a little nicer looking, but I mean, this thing's going to swell up as soon as it gets wet. It's already a little wet. It was out in the rain for about two minutes and it got wet, so. And that's what I'm blaming. I, I measured wrong the first time that I routed that first piece, that's what I'm blaming that on, is that, that the wood swelled up my second piece. Uh, and that's why it didn't fit. We all know that's not true, but that's what we're going to say. There. There we are. Relatively sturdy. So as you can see, that's a fairly tight fit. It does not want to wiggle on there. So we'll just take our sledge. A lot easier with two hands. That's that. And then we kind of, we need to take something, pry bar or otherwise, and stick down here. 
and auger that hole out a little bit. So I'll do that and be right back. So what I ended up doing, I just took a pair of pliers and using just a little bit of the tip, I just kind of bent that out nice the whole way around. And this thing is old. This tree apparently was my wife's grandmother's. Um, and then my in-laws, as I said, I got it from them. I believe they had it hanging up. They hung their tree upside down. They have a log cabin hung it upside down back home for years until my wife and her siblings moved out. So we hammer that down. This little mushroom. And then when we go to put this in the ground, hell, if this sticks out like that, I may leave it like that and let it be in the ground. I don't know. Um, anyway, as I said, this tree is pretty old. So it uh, it's pretty rusted, that thing. That main piece is all beat up. You can there's got duct tape in there holding on. There was a bird's nest in it. Um, so now I got to try to find find some of those big spikes if I have any left over from last year, and, and drive them through and put it underground, and that'll be that for this one. 